Hello, this is Dave, and you can hear in there that this is Dean Kranzler. I get to go interview him because he's in the Kansas Music Hall of Fame. This dude is like totally famous, and he was also my teacher and mentor, and we're going to go in and talk to him and see what he's got to say about uh, being in the Kansas Music Hall of Fame. Hey, there's Dean right there. Hey, Dean Kranzler, congratulations on being in the Kansas Music Hall of Fame. Thank you so much, Dave. <laughs> this is the COVID-19 lockdown uh, practice log. Most of this was April. I just taking some notes on the stuff I was practicing on each day. 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Those are just on different things. Most, most of it was anywhere from two to four hours a day. Okay, Dean, how old were you in this picture right here? I think I was five years old. Santa brought me that for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so Dean, how old were you in this picture? That was 16 right there. 16, and what was the band that you were playing in at the time? That was the King's Men, the Royal Men of Music. What's your biggest thrill about being a teacher, Dean? Oh, watching the students develop. That's <laughs> what makes it fun. Now, do you know this guy named Brandon Draper? Do you know him? Oh gosh, I knew him before he was born. <laughs> uh, I was playing in many bands with his dad, and uh, he started taking lessons when he was five. Okay, so uh, studied all through grade school, high school, college, and then headed off to attack the wonderful world of percussion. Funny moments you have when teaching. Uh, one time while working on getting students prepared to play their KMEA etudes, which I do every year, one of the students two weeks before the audition came in and said, Hey, what's this KMEA thing I'd like to try out? Of course, everybody else had had their music for six months and so I we have a power lesson go through all these difficult snare drum etudes in half hour send him on his way next week he comes back in for a lesson this is the week before the KMEA auditions see all my students that week some of them can get through parts of them some can get through all of them with a few mistakes here and there this particular student came in and just plays them both down perfectly after one week <laughs> and so I'm just stumped I said, well, how did you get those worked up in just one week? He looks at me dead serious and says, if you use the metronome and count, these really aren't that bad. <laughs> that was Trevor Harrington, who's now a music education major at K-State. Things are memories about old Jack. He was a great guitar player, singer, and writer, a super friend. I know he has a lot of friends in Kansas and Nashville and he was a friend you could always count on, call him anytime. Just a super fun guy. I know we'll all miss him a lot. I had nothing but the greatest memories of fun gigs one after another with Jack. What are you listening to here? This is a recording of the Tarkus Project from March 2019. And who's in the band? Tony Bowles singing, Craig Bigler's doing keyboards, Jeff Leach playing bass, I'm playing drums. Dave Cooper playing some extra keyboards, and then Dave Cooper, Mike Dreyer, and Dave Henning playing horns at the end. And you played everything just like Carl Palmer did? No, we had changed around. <laughs> to grab a triangle part to play. And right upon grabbing the triangle, hit the triangle and the clamp string broke and the triangle hit the floor and broke. In fact, I've saved it all these years <laughs> to give it to you, Dave. It was yours. It was my triangle. I was no, the guy that did triangle. that. That's your triangle. And I can have it now. It's your gift. But it's only a, it it's only, a biangle. It's a biangle now. But it was a perfectly tuned triangle, wasn't it? It was perfectly yeah, it tuned to a minor triad. It was an A440 triangle, wasn't yeah, it? At one time. Yeah, okay. And of course, the great Marymount Ensemble. A lot of good concerts there, a lot of funny things happened. I remember after one concert, it, it was going okay, it was with the Marimba Ensemble. Something just didn't seem quite right, though, I wasn't sure what it was. And then afterwards, one of the members of the ensemble came up and said, What'd you think? I said, well, it wasn't bad, it wasn't our greatest concert, something wasn't quite right. And he said, well, don't you think that was pretty good, though, for forgetting my music folder? <laughs> Let's see who, actually, that was you, Dave. No, no, that wasn't me. I would like to make a few thank yous. 
Um, one to you and Brandon Draper and EJ Rose, Dan Fleming, the guys in the Hall of Fame committee that put all this together. I know it takes a lot of time. Really appreciate your efforts. Uh, also, I'd like to really thank all the great local musicians. I've had so many fun, great people to play with during my career. That's what really made it possible. And then all the great teachers I had, private teachers, high school band directors, college teachers. Uh, what makes this whole system roll and be worthwhile is the great students I have now and have had as long as I've been teaching. Uh, special thanks out to Steve Hansen for providing me a teaching studio. Uh, it's been really nice since 1973. Um, Salina Arts and Humanities Commission has given me a lot of opportunities for some pretty crazy projects over the years. I really thank them. And then the college colleagues I've had from Mr. Stein and the crew back at Marymount College, uh, David Higby and the crew at Bethany College, um, Lyle Dilley, Jeff Jordan, Brad Dawson, some of the great folks at Fort Hay State University. There's many more. And then, of course, all the current excellent faculty here at Kansas Wesleyan University. Those give me a lot of great opportunities. Then the high school band directors in the area, uh, they feed me a lot of students. They really keep the ball rolling and uh, have had me working with their drum lines since about 1973. Been in the Salina Symphony over 40 years, a lot of great people, tremendous leadership there. And uh, then, of course, had about 26 fun years playing with the Blades. Some of those guys I was even in high school with. What a fun band. And then finally, Jazz Tangent. We've been together, I think, 35 years, maybe more, playing jazz in the Salina community and really had fun with that. So those people have been a big part and keeping me playing all day, every day. Congratulations to Dean Kranzer. I've known that uh, drummer guy since 1972. Um, fantastic individual, a, a good person, and a, an incredible drummer and supporter of the music and arts. Go Dean. How do you feel about being inducted into the Kansas Music Hall of Fame? Oh, it's quite an honor, very humbling experience and kind of exciting. <laughs>